<laughs> oh, hey, you're getting your daily dose of motivation. This is episode 35 titled Performance Tips. First of all, let me apologize. I'm very comfortable with my manly zebra pillow that I'm sleeping with. It's also a body pillow, so, you know, for those lonely nights where I wish that I could cuddle with someone in my king-sized bed, I never use this pillow to cuddle with because I would be very sad and pathetic. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm very tired. If you saw any of my posts from last night, I was, uh, you know, doing a stand-up competition and it went very late. So I didn't go to sleep until about 1.30ish, 2, somewhere around there. It takes me forever to fall asleep. And then I had to wake up at around 3.30. Well, I tried to wake up at 3.30. Woke up at 4 and uh, was exhausted and still am. I tried not to take a nap when I got home, but uh, I failed. Got a little nap in. Got a little nap through all the light and the birds. Apparently I have these new birds that hang out right by my window and and uh, sing me amazing tunes. It's very repetitive though. I wish they'd pick kind of a new melody, but you know, it's cool. Now there's a dog out there that won't shut the hell up. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> this episode is about performance tips. I figured, you know, there might be some people who are wanting to be or maybe already trying to be artists of some sort, performing something of some sort, maybe uh, theater, acting, um, music, whatever. I don't know. I'm not a professional by any means, and maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I have been on TV, not trying to brag. I may have been in a porno. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, not yet, but... Well, I was in one, but it was like one minute long and nobody watched it. But anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, I've tried stand-up comedy a few times. Um, I've been in a movie called Slapped that I created with my friend Alex Magania. It's on Amazon right now. You can watch it if you have Prime and uh, you, can, you can rent it or buy it, I guess. Whatever. You, whatever you want to do. It is very inappropriate and uh, rated R, so... Just, you've been warned. Anyway, I strive to be in the entertainment business and I've done a lot of crazy stuff and have been really lucky to do some certain projects and things like this. And I also suffer from anxiety, as you guys know. So I was thinking today, as tired as I am, I would lay here comfortably in this bed with this awesome pillow and tell you guys a few tips that I learned about and that helped me a lot, especially I noticed last night. Um, and then before that, I had done a speech in this speech club that I'm in because I'm hella cool and I'm trying to work on my public speaking because maybe I want to be president one day because apparently anybody can be. Ooh, burn. Anyway, uh, the president is always just a puppet. We, we know there's somebody else behind that mask, right? I'm into conspiracy theories, by the way. So um, I thought I was joking at first, but I think I'm starting to believe them. I don't know. Moving on. Performance tips from me. You could take it or leave it. Um, I'm sure you could find better stuff on the internet. That's where I went to learn a lot of things. And I also talked to um, an acting teacher that I had who was very experienced and, and other people like that that have given me tips along the way. Uh, more specifically, last night before my comedy show, I was having some anxiety. And, uh, and like I said, I did a speech before that and I was having some anxiety for that. And one of the tips I was given is to do uh, some form of physical exercise before you perform any kind of performance. If you have anxiety, if you're nervous, if you're shaking, whatever it is, exercising before a performance helps out a lot. And I can vouch for that because the last two performances that I did, I made sure to work out right before I did it. Um, before my comedy show, I showed up early on purpose. I planned things. Oh my God, I can't believe I planned something. I showed up early instead of on Filipino time. <laughs> 
and I walked around the venue a little bit, you know, getting a little, I mean, I was sweaty. That's, that's one thing. If you sweat when you work out, which I think most people do, uh, you know, you get to account for that. So I made sure I had time to go clean up in the bathroom, like, uh, Eminem style before his performance, looking in the mirror, splashing water on my face, you know, spaghetti, spaghetti, stuff like that. Um, stretching is another one, yoga, meditation, all those kind of things. Breathing exercises, there's different kinds that you can do, but obviously getting oxygen is good and getting extra oxygen is good. There are a lot of good exercises online that will help for any kind of performance or anxiety or whatever you might be having. So breathing, exercise, good tips, um, eating right. Definitely don't get jacked up on coffee <laughs> if you're already feeling you know a lot of anxiety or whatever you don't want you don't want that coffee uh feeding into your anxiety and making you jumpy and shaky and then you get in your own head and it's not good um before my performance last night i made sure to eat some oatmeal with some fruits it, it uh you know it just get something in your belly you don't want to go there nervous um and have an empty stomach but you also don't want to eat anything crazy you know <laughs> I mean, I guess every to each their own, but for me, I don't want to eat like a big giant greasy burger and be weighed down and, and just feel gross and tired when I do some sort of a performance, you know? So, um, other than that, it's uh, just a lot of anxiety and being nervous before you do any kind of performance is you getting inside your own head. So before my performance, I made sure to, and I just like to talk to people anyway, but talk to somebody, you know, whether you need to call a friend or for me, I was doing a comedy show and there was a bunch of new people there. And at first I was kind of like just hanging on the wall and not talking to people because I was so nervous and getting in my own head. Then I forced myself because I knew those other comedians, they had to be nervous. Even seasoned comedians get nervous. Um, and if they're not, you know, no matter what, most comedians or people trying to be comedians are funny people who are very social and love to talk. And I learned that very quickly because I started to get to know a lot of the other contestants. So I made friends and made connections and it was great. And, uh, and it helped me to be less nervous. And then I met a guy who is very new at comedy. It was his first time. And I did the best I could to give him some tips even though I was competing against him, but I mean, it's his first time and I'm still fairly new, but I wanted to tell him things that I knew and I wanted to help him because he was very nervous as well. So uh, very supportive people. You'll find that most people are great people and they're very supportive and they want to help. So definitely talk to people around um, the venue of whatever you're doing or just call a friend, whatever you need to do to kind of get out of your own head for a minute. But I mean, it's kind of hard because, you know, if you're performing, you might have lyrics or maybe some stand up, whatever it is that you kind of need to memorize or think about right before you go out. So you, it's kind of a mix of both. And uh, so exercise, um, talking to people, getting support, breathing, focus on your breathing for sure. And uh, just a lot of planning, you know, I've done a lot of big things um, for myself, like towards projects I'm, I, I was working on and uh, just I would get caught up and have so much to do that I wouldn't plan things accordingly. But I've found that you freak out a lot less if you plan things. So know where you're going, uh, know everything. I researched all the details for my contest before I went because I, I just didn't want to be caught off guard. And I, and I, and I know myself that if, if something catches me off guard, I'm going to freak out and everything will just fall apart. So I planned accordingly. I showed up early and I did all the tips that I've told you. And I didn't move forward in the competition, but in life, like I said, I moved forward because this is the best performance. Um, the most comfortable, even though I had a lot of anxiety, it was still one of the best performances for myself because I went through with it and I planned it and I did all the tips I told you and it it went really well, um, you know, even though obviously I need more experience, things like that, but I'm very happy about that. So if you're gonna go perform, good luck. Go out there, chase some dreams. You got it. I believe in you.